Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. That's all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the world ign ignorantly calls God in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I want to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, and I want to say a sincere Shalom, Wabarak, a thumb to the hopeful elect, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth, in this doctrine. To you, I say Shalom. All right, um, I'm not sure why I want to uh, title this lessons because, you know, you got to be careful what you title your lessons these days because um, Esau is getting real sensitive and real butthurt about really you know, about being exposed. All right, but as you see, the hate for you, Jakes, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans from E in this country is live and well. All right, this is a uh, picture of a uh, man. Um, what is his name? Uh Mahud Velales, where he got in an altercation with an Edomite, and uh, this Edomite threw a battery acid in his face, and you see the end results of what happened to this man, all right, you know, and they say, um, where is it, Hispanic man has acid thrown in his face in alleged hate crime, it's alleged hate crime, but if this was the LGBTQ community that this happened to, uh, 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 you know, um, a so-called Chinese, a, a so-called Japanese, or any other race, all right, any other nation besides Israel, all right, you Israelites, it would be it, be, it would be considered a hate crime. It would be on CNN, Fox News, all right, hate crime in Milwaukee, uh, um, you know, yada 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 yada. This would be big news just because it's Jake, all right, and and it was um, it and this was based on race, but I'm gonna read, I'm gonna get into the article, but you see the times that we're living in. All right, that tension between Jacob and Esau is 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 building up. All right, thanks to Donald Trump, you know, thanks to Esau, the, 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 this proud devil. All right, the, the pride is 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 you know just just is going is is out the roof right now. Um, these devils. All right, um, so let me get into the article, and I'm going to read you know parts of it, and, and you sh it shows you the hate, the hate for you, Jakes is is in America is live and well. All right. Um, so the article reads, a Milwaukee man left left with second degree burns over the weekend after someone, it says someone, all right, it's like Esau, if, if, man, Esau has all the resources to find who did this, all right, they have the cameras all over the place, but you know, they say someone, it was more than likely an Edomite, ain't no Jake did this uh, or, or no, you know, other race, or right, once you get into the article, all right. A Milwaukee man was left with second-degree burns over the weekend after someone threw battery acid in his face and accused him of being in the country illegally. Mahud Valales, 42, said a man doused him with the chemical with the chemical during an argument on Friday over how he parked his vehicle. The surveillance camera captured the scary encounter on video, showing the suspect raising his hands and pointing at Valales' face right before he splashed him with with the liquid. You know that that's 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 pure hatred. That's that's some straight Edomite shit. Excuse my language, but who walks around with battery acid to throw it in someone's face? Like like who does that? But Edomites, all right. Jake, you know, if we get into something, happen to get into something, some some fisticuff with somebody, we ain't about to throw no battery acid. You know, we might throw them hands, but you know, we ain't throwing no battery acid. That's straight Edomite shit. That's devil stuff. All right. Um, he told me he told me I cannot park park right there. He said, you need to obey the law. You came here and invaded my country. Valales, who is Hispanic, told reporters at the press conference Sunday. I ignored him. Straight Edomites, man. You know, that's an Edomite. It don't show a picture of him. It don't give a name. But, you know, that's an Edomite invaded my country. All right. This damn devil has it invaded, has invaded the whole earth and, and polluted the whole earth with wickedness. OK, Valala said he moved his car to another space. Damn, Jake, man, Jake is, you know, he even complied with this damn devil. And what the devil do? All right. Throw shit in his face. But the man who he says is white was still waiting out there with a bottle in his hands. He started arguing with me why you came here to, and invaded my country, why you came here illegally. I said, sir. You don't know my status. I am a U.S. citizen, too. Valales recalled. 
he got mad when I told him and everybody came here from somewhere else for somewhere else. Valales, who was on his way to a restaurant, said he had began to walk away when the man suddenly tossed the acid in his face. That's some slick, wicked Edomite stuff right there. All right. So, hey, you you, you see what went down. You see the the um, the the tension between Esau and Jacob that that has been brewing since the womb. All right. And it's going to it's going to continue to get 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 uh it's going to continue to get worse. It's not going to get better. We're not going to all come together and be one people and and love one another. Love one another. No. All right. It's going to be war out here in the streets, and we're in a time of war. All right. And a spiritual war with uh, these devils. Not no physical war. Not you know. Not saying go bear arms and start tactical training. None of that stuff. All right. We're in a spiritual war with these damn devils. All right. This is um. Shit. Where I want to start. Let me get this. Is he please? Nah, nah, I don't want to get that. Salakia. I'm going to get this. Uh, this is Genesis chapter uh, 27. And I'm going to. Um, or actually, let me go start at 25. Um, 25. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'll start at verse uh, Genesis 25 and 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord of his for his wife because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went and inquired to the Lord. All right. So it was the, it, this fight between Esau and Jacob has been going back to the womb. OK. And, and in present day, it's still it's still prevalent. All right. It's still here. And that hate that Esau has for Jacob is 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 is, is, is high as it ever been. All right. And it's going to continue to grow. Okay, because these race riots have to happen. That's prophecy. All right. And incidents like this and more incidents that's going to come out in the news. All right. Things that are going to be captured on video of Esau and Jake going at it. All right. It's just going to build the tension here in America. All right. And it's all the will of the Lord. All right. The the Lord, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, prophesied these things, prophesied that these things would happen. All right. Um, verse 20. Where's I at? Oh, verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, the and the one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. Okay, so that's the point. Let me get let me jump to my point right here in uh, the twenty seventh chapter. This is uh, Genesis twenty seven, and I'm gonna start at verse forty one. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. All right, so Esau hated Jacob from the jump. All right. That hatred is, like I said, the hatred is still alive. All right. And Esau said in his heart, the days of my mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will slay my brother Jacob. And ever since that day, all right, Esau has had it out for Jake, but for Jacob. All right. These so-called white people, so-called, uh, the so-called white man has had it, always had it out for Jake. All right. Whether you go back to the to the ancient world, to the slavery times, to the present day, all right? Esau is always trying to put their foot, and they've had their foot on Jake's throat, okay, for, all, for ever since then, all right? And then I will slay my brother Jacob. And he's, like I said, this devil's been trying to slay you Israelites ever since then, all right? He has that perpetual hatred, okay? He has that, that hatred in his heart, that, that burning hatred. Just like the Most High hates Esau, Esau hates Jacob. All right, because he because he, he he got the Jacob got the blessing, Jacob's gonna uh, um <laughs> gonna be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai and ruling the kingdom of heaven. And Esau is so envious and hateful, he, you know he got his blessing. His blessing was the um the the um shit here go right here, um his blessing was a sword, but his blessing was uh sorry, yeah. sorry. Uh, let me see. Yeah, Isaac said, and I, so like, yeah, this is uh, Genesis 27, 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. And thy sword shall thou live, and thou shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, that thou shalt break the yoke off thy brother's neck. So Esau, this is his rulership right now, okay? From the Greeks to the Romans and to the, the present wicked society that we're living in. This is his rulership. All right, this is his blessing. He's ruling with the sword. He has the um, 
He has the fatness of the earth. He has the abundance. He's in rulership right now. Okay, but there's going to be a transition, and these devils know that. All right? These devils know that there's, there's going to be a transition uh, of power. They see that transition in happen, happening. All right? Um, let me get this. Second Ezra chapter 6. Don't start this shit with this mouse. Um... Yo, this is straight Satan, man. I'll just use this. The second Ezra chapter six, and I'll start at verse verse eight. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. All right. So Esau was the elder. So the scripture just said, the elder shall serve the younger. Okay. Um and for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is it the beginning of that followeth. All right, so Esau knows he's on his way out the door. All right, and Jacob's kingdom is being set up. So, you know, all that hatred that he's had for over 2,000 years is, is, is building up, and Esau can't take it no more. All right, um, let me get this in um, Ezekiel. Ezekiel, uh, thirty-five. And we're going to start at verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of thy of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. All right. So these devils had a perpetual hatred. Any time in history to, to afford the affliction of Israel, these, the a hey, Esau was right there at the forefront, whether they were in power or not. OK, they was there. Yeah. You know, get these niggas. They doing this. They're trying to build a temple. All right. They're trying to build their temple back up, writing letters to uh, Anaxerxes and um, all these, you know, these rulers that were ruling over us in the ancient times. All right. To to to, to try to, to tell them to put a foot in our ass. OK. Esau has always had a perpetual hatred. All right. And, and like I said, Esau's hate for Jacob is 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 alive and well in here in America, all throughout the world. All right. Um, verse six. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus, I will I will make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it that pass so like it and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. All right. So this day. Hey, the Lord is not going to forget all these, these these wicked deeds that these devils have done to our people, all right? And this is just a small example, you know, throwing acid in this man's face. This could have blinded this man. It could have killed him. You know, who knows? But, hey, you know, he he survived. Hope he's not simple. And, you know, and, and, and you know, want to go forgive the day, want to go forgive Esau like the rest of our people do. Oh, what the Bible says, uh, you're supposed to love your neighbor and forgive your neighbor and uh, uh, this and this and that. All right, that's that plantation Christianity, that Catholicism, that doctrine, that wicked doctrine that has uh, polluted the minds of our people for so long. Your neighbor is not no damn Edomite or none of these heathen nations. Thus say the scriptures. Your neighbor is uh, uh, your fellow kinsmen, someone of your nation, fellow Israelites. All right. Um, let me get this. Um, it's, a lot of good. it's Proverbs 1. In verse 22, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorners and fools hate knowledge? You simple Israelites out there that continue to 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 want to walk hand in hand with these devils after they do stuff like this. So they 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 come up and sh these devils sh come and shoot up festivals. They come in people's houses and kill them in their own house. And you ignorant ass Jake's want to continue to forgive these devils. All right. You know, and this guy and, and the guy that did this, he probably won't be caught because more likely the Milwaukee Police Department ain't looking for him. All right. It ain't a big deal. OK, because that's ran by Edomites. All right. And, and they feel the same way as that Edomite that threw the battery acid in his face. They want the so-called illegals out of this country. All right. The damn devil. You damn Edomites is the biggest uh, uh, um, immigrants ever. All right. Um, let me see. You can't be nice to these devils, man. They, 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 they're not programmed to do good. 
All right, they're they're not they're, they're programmed to do wicked. They're the wicked. Actually, let me get that real quick. Um, it's Malachi one and four. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build and I will throw down and and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people whom the Lord have indignation forever. It said a people, that's the nation of Esau, the nation like the nation of Edom. All right. Esau is the forefather of the nation of Edom. Esau is Edom. Thus saith the scriptures, pursuing the Genesis 36 chapter. All right. So back to this scripture I wanted to get. Isaiah uh, 26 and 10. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, he will deal unjustly, and he will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Even if you show this devil favor, he's not going to do right. He will not learn. Like the scripture says, he yet he will not learn righteousness. He can, he's going to always have that perpetual, deep down, gritty, grimy hatred for you Israelites, you Jakes, you, you know, and you Latinos, you, um, you Northern Kingdom, you, uh, you know, you so-called Latinos, you better wake up because Esau's putting hell on y'all right now. Down there in Central and South America, you got, um, these concentration camps all across the borders where they putting you Jakes in cages. All right. Hey, you, hey, you better wake up long. How long will you simple ones love simplicity? All right, because you, it's you simple jakes out there that, that continue to want to come over here and try to make it in America. I know it's effed up in Mexico with the cartels and, and you, where you're living at, but hey, you better you better off toughing it out than coming here because America is about to get jacked up. These race riots are brewing. These uh, uh, this martial law is brewing. These uh, uh, The chip is about to be pushed here heavy, all right? And you think you got it bad in those trans concentration camps down at the border, it's going to be worse here in these concentration camps here in America. All these empty uh, big department stores due to this um, uh, uh, retail apocalypse. You got all these empty Walmarts. These are going to be concentration camps. They're going to be chipping centers. They're going to be beheading centers. All right. For, for you know, uh, those that oppose the chip. All right. Um, this is uh, Sirach, Ecclesiasticus chapter uh, 14. And um, verse 7. And if he doeth good, he doeth unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. All right. Hey, that's this devil, man. So this guy thought, you know, he was doing something good by moving his car. Like, okay, this guy's making a big deal. Let me move my car or park right. All right. So he thinks he's, you know, okay, maybe this guy stop giving me a hard time. Hey, he, his scripture says, if he doeth good, he doeth unwillingly. At the last, he will declare his wickedness. All right. Hey, that him moving his car. The, him having his car parked a certain way wasn't the, the, the issue. He had an issue with him, just who he is, just that perpetual hatred that Esau has for Jake, all right? He was planning to throw that battery acid in his face, whatever he did, okay? Let me get uh, one more scripture. This is Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 12, and um, is it 10? Yeah, verse 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So iron is going to rust regardless. Okay, however however you try to keep it up, it's going to rust. As iron rusteth, so is wickedness. So this devil's, Esau's wickedness is always going to show. All right? Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him like as like if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. So at the end of the day, this devil's Esau Edom is always going to show his wickedness. He's always going to show his true colors, who he really is, how he really deep down in his deep down feels about you Israelites, you Jakes. All right. Whether you, you know, it, you know, you feel like these Edomites are good people or no, they're going to show their wickedness in the last end. When it's push come to shove, when it's you or them, when, uh, you know, when martial law is being declared and, and it's, all out is all is all hell is broken out here in America. You're gonna see your Edomite friends, your so-called good white friends that you got, how much they love you. All right. So um, you know, that's all I have for this lesson. You know, you know, Lord Willis is edifying to the lake and a wake-up call to you Jakes out there, mainly you northern kingdom, man, to, to see, you know, hey, they hate they hate Judah. They hate you know, they hate the Negroes for sure. They hate Judah. All right, they always gonna have a petrol hatred for Judah, but they hate you, you Northern Kingdom. They hate you Hispanics just as much. 
All right. They don't show it because of that great. They don't show it as much because that great hatred they have for the head tribe of Judah. All right. But hey, you, you, you Northern kingdom, y'all catching hell too. Look at this guy's face. He's, he's all effed up. All right. Um, so, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Badash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and peace and salutations of the hopeful elect. Shalom.